Yeah, good morning. The camper uh, spot in Huesca. It's where we stayed last night. It's, uh, it's completely reserved for campers. There's trees, so in the summer you can stand in the shade, but now it's not really necessary. I wear my solar, I don't want that. So, uh, yeah, from here on, uh, we're gonna move on. It's about 11 o'clock. We did, uh, we took it slow this morning, and there's a big uh, supermarket a bit further down the road, and I wanna stop there, and uh, from there on, we'll uh, continue our trip over the Pyrenees from here. Yeah, we've been at uh, Rene, with Renee and Sharon the last few days and uh, they do organize the Dutch Fan Jam June 5th till 7, 2020 Heeswijk Dinter in the Netherlands whatever address is below so if you haven't heard uh, about it check out the website and uh, yeah it was such bad weather uh, at their place so uh, I uh, put the sticker on this morning so yeah Yeah, we're uh, moving again. Uh, I have just stopped here on the site, still on the campus spot, um, to check my uh, my lights. I always do that before I leave, especially uh, if it's yeah a long uh, a long trip. But I mostly do that every morning. But I was parked up to another camper, and uh, they had the door open, and uh, I don't want to run my engine uh, yeah next to them. So it's not really a trip. Any, any trouble to find a place where you're not parked up to someone, so that's what I do. De Rotonde, de tweede afslag. Yeah, as I said, there's a big supermarket here, so I want to stop there because uh, it's probably the last big supermarket in Spain we're gonna see. El Campo. De tweede afslag. And I uh, have to see where I can get on, I think. Right, zona comercial. And uh, because, yeah, today we're going to cross over the Pyrenees into France, so uh, I want to see uh, here at the supermarket if there is uh, yeah, stuff that I want to take from uh, the eerste afslag. So, uh, yeah, let's find a parking spot here on the corner. It's be nice. Keer indien mogelijk om. Maak een U-bocht. Daarna rechts afslaan. Yeah, it's uh, already past one now. Here's some little park thing next to the supermarket. The supermarket is over there. And yeah, the supermarket always takes a little bit more time uh, than you uh, think in the first time. But um, yeah, we're gonna leave uh, now, Bo uh, already peed. So uh, I sat down at a little cafe next to the supermarket and uh, had uh, two cups of coffee and a Spanish omelette with some uh, bread with homemade um, tomato, uh, uh, yeah, how do you call that? Salsa, something like that. And uh, very nice. And I thought, uh, bo, 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 uh, while I'm here in Spain uh, today, because we're going to move over the Pyrenees to France, might as well. Um, do that another time and uh, make use of that and uh, yeah the Spanish prices are also two cups of coffee and uh, that uh, Spanish omelette was only four euros so uh, yeah but yeah now we're gonna move on uh, and uh, over the Pyrenees into France here we go moving the into France afslag. over the Pyrenees it's going to be uh, taking a little bit of getting used to again, I uh, presume. Switching from Spanish to French. Na 400 France. meter, neem op de rotonde de tweede afslag. But yeah. When we left Spain, then the way back to the colder north, the Netherlands has uh, really begun. Yeah, it's freezing uh, in the Netherlands, I heard from the family there, so... Uh, it's a beautiful day to cross over the Pyrenees, because it's sunny, there are some clouds, but yeah, looks quite, uh, quite sunny and uh, it 
should give us a nice view too. Of course, I'm uh, on the highway, so that will probably be a little bit different than when you take a crossing off the highway. But um, I saw some passes are already closed due to snow, and today is. Uh, big uh, day of strikes in France and you never know how long that's gonna last but uh, yeah it could be that uh, I don't know who what uh, transportation strikes and um, all kinds of uh, jobs are on strike though uh, I don't know if uh, it could be that the Spanish side is clear and then you get to the French side and uh, the road isn't cleared so I guess the staying on the highway is the safest, um, the safest option, and uh, yeah, let's see, let's see what we're gonna see. The snow-capped mountains. Now they must be good visible on the on the video, I guess. But yeah, there's a lot of snow up there. Yeah, it's. Uh, the highway ended, so it's not the uh, highway going, going over here, but there's a lot of traffic coming from the other direction, so I guess everything's just open. Look at the snow and those mountains. Yeah. <laughs> we were at 1200 meters just before. I didn't check now, but... bit of uh, highway, uh, route national, highway, so well, it's a nice route to drive and it's uh, beautiful views. It's good that the sun is out though because nature is already in uh, like uh, autumn winter uh, setting. It's all brown and, uh, and dry, so uh, nothing is green anymore. So then it makes a lot of difference as the sun is out. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you uh, see that they uh, are distributing salt uh, again. So uh, putting salt on the roads. There's a lot of salt uh, just uh, on the sides, and you can see that uh, the salt on the road. Uh, yeah, bleached uh, the road uh, again. I just got a picture sent over from Julie and Richard. They're in the harbor in Santa Paula on the terrace <laughs> and uh, atop in the sun. So, uh, yeah, that's 20 plus again there. Yeah, and here it's 10 hours, even with the sun out. So, uh, yeah, and uh, snow capped mountains. So, that's a little bit different. 
but it's beautiful drive and it's a beautiful view I must say look at that from Spain to France at Sompo it's called and uh, I just saw the official sign that's at Sompo Aperto so open uh, it was green so uh, yeah we can at least uh, cross over from Spain to France there Camino de Santiago kilometers uh, to the French border I must say it is a little bit further than I expected it from Huesca but it's a great drive it's really beautiful and yeah, now we go into a tunnel but wow look at the mountains really This uh, tunnel to Sampo is quite long. There was a sign uh, a bit back that said six kilometers. I don't know if it uh, is uh, six kilometers from Dan or total. Oh, here's a new sign. Let's see what this one says. Five kilometers. So, yeah, it was still six kilometers ago. And we're well, we already a few kilometers in. So, I think it's. Uh, yeah, about small 10 kilometer tunnel. That's quite long. Never been through a tunnel that long, I believe. So it goes straight through the mountain. So we don't have to go over. I guess uh, the border at France will also be somewhere in this tunnel then. It's probably over the top of this mountain. And then, uh, yeah, because we are going through, it's somewhere in the middle of this tunnel, I guess. According to my SNAF, we just crossed the border into France. So, yeah, this part of the tunnel uh, would be France then. I didn't see any sign in the tunnel that we were in France, but probably when we leave the tunnel. Deze route nog 11 kilometer.
French National Park de Pyrénées. And uh, if I can believe the signs, the road signs, there should be bears here in this national park. And um, yeah, gamps, some kind of uh, code like rock climbing uh, animal. I didn't know there uh, were still bears in the Pyrenees, but yeah, cool. Neem op de rotonde de tweede afslag. Ja, yeah, well, looks of it were in uh, some kind of uh, Na 400 meter neem op de rotonde de tweede afslag. So uh, yeah, that's uh, we can drive on a bit. <laughs> yeah, I think this uh, were these were the Pyrenees. Uh, left and right you see uh, some smaller mountains that are I believe the loss of what we are gonna get from the Pyrenees so yeah so we're officially true and uh, from here on we'll continue in the direction of Po for a bit and then Bordeaux so the Atlantic side we're not gonna drive uh, very close to the Atlantic coast but uh, yeah the direction of Bordeaux so and then from there on uh, uh, south of Paris uh, towards Reims or Rams whatever you want to call it so yeah these were the Pyrenees you can see them in my rearview mirror Very, very nice. Just stopped for a minute to look at the park for night, what there is some possibilities spent the night. Found one fairly close, about 10 kilometers from here. I'm going to check that out and if that's not a good sight, then there is another one and another one about 5 kilometers further down. So yeah, let's check it out. We just passed Dax, so uh, tomorrow we'll uh, go um, further in the direction of Bordeaux and uh, yeah let's see that uh, spot first yeah parked up uh, near some uh, sporting complex I don't know if it gets busier so there's only one car it looks like there's football fields and stuff I don't know if there's tennis in this building or whatever but uh, yeah we'll see By the looks of it, there's a soccer practice or something for kids going on. But yeah, we'll be alright there on the side. So, I'm gonna make myself some dinner and then I'm gonna see you guys in the morning. <laughs> 